welcome in to our press box edition of the Pirate Radio Podcast. Great to have you with us wherever you might be tuned in. I am Troy D. Alongside our band that is back together, let me first welcome in to my left the senior member of the sports media. He is Mr. Brian Bailey. Good to be here. PhD in local sports. Good to see you, Dr. <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> that's, um, that's the only thing I got a doctor. Yeah, exactly. Uh, also, Billy Weaver to your left from WITN7. Good to see you, Weaver. Good to see you. Welcome back to the studio. And our buddy, Brian Meador, little buddy, everybody's favorite. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> who is uh, here representing officially ECU. That's right. Yeah. And, and I'm the only one here without, well, Bailey's got his channel on. I'm not wearing a hat that represents anything but the Dodgers, the LA Dodgers. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. gave that to me last year for Christmas. Look at that. Huh? With, uh, technically, ECU Video Services. Correct. Appreciate your service. Also, Appreciate you. Uh, Clip Rock producing our uh, show today. Good to see you, Clip. What's up, guys? And um, we are doing it a little bit different. We're doing this a podcast style. So before we get started, I want to thank Jason Shepard from The Place. Man, what a great... He gave us our pregame meal, if you will. Uh, what he, He's been in the food business a long time. What a great spread, though. We, we had... So The Place, if you're not familiar with it, is the, he took over the old meeting place, yep. which had shut down. He's reinvented it. He's called it the, pl- the place now. It's right there as you come in on Main Street. He's got beautiful... In Washington. In Washington. Washington, North Carolina. And he's got... Uh, awesome outdoor area is this spring as we get closer to spring and summer it is going to be bumping out there but man how good was the food today guys it fantastic was, yeah it was really yeah. good we had the club it was it was terrific this is as good a club as i've had and I, potato salad too i did the blt wrap mm-hmm. and i'm a big you know me bailey i can get a little picky at times when no I'm really <laughs> i'm a big stickler for crispy bacon yes that's like yes, my, yes yes the bacon, that's, that's what the i like bacon on the club. Club. i didn't good. ask for so it i didn't good. know what he was bringing i wasn't going to complain because he was yeah. providing it to us so he's doing a great you job you're going to complain that's the <laughs> no, lead well, story <laughs> you buried the lead <laughs> you buried the, the lead the bacon was super crispy was absolutely crispy and it was Perfect. in a uh, spinach wrap i mean it was uh, it was a blt wrap mm-hmm. it was awesome and then the chicken salad i know i gotta get some of that that's what i'm gonna try yeah i'm stealing on the way out the door i'm taking one of those so anyway, thanks to Jason with The Place in Washington. They're open Tuesday through Saturday for lunch, 11 to 2. They do these uh, bistro-style lunches that we got to have today. You can also go there for dinner Saturday, Thursday through Saturday, 5 to 9, where he calls it elevated comfort food. So it's not mm-hmm. uh, too fancy. Yeah. It's not too chintzy. It's like kind of right in the middle. It's really nice. Uh, they're right at 225 Main Street, and uh, you can check them out at The Place. You can Google The Place in Washington, and uh, you'll be glad you did. So thanks again to Jason Shepard. And his crew uh, for providing us our meal today. Yeah, it was now, really good. I was there for the soft opening, and he had a, a guy out on the patio playing and had some heaters out there because it's a little bit cold it was around Christmas time. Yeah. But that patio area was so awesome. We actually sat out there and listened to music and ate outside. Um, so I can I can imagine during the uh, summer and, and spring months, it's going to be awesome. We were talking earlier, trying to figure out the last time we all got together in the studio. I think it's been about four or five months. Since well, it was before one of the last football games, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's been a while, Yeah, I yeah. think. I haven't seen you guys in a while. Yeah, it was, studio. It's been it was a long football time. season. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, good to have you back. So there's a lot to cover. Let, let's talk ECU football first. So, you know, where the Pirates wrapped up 2020. More importantly, where they're going 2021. Uh, let's, it's a little early for predictions. But and the only thing I think we really know right now is the first month. The first month seems to be somewhat set. The, they're, they're looking to play App State in Charlotte September 2nd. Um, the South Carolina is on the schedule for September 11th in Greenville for the next game. September 18th is a game at Marshall. And then September 25th is in Dowdy Ficklin Stadium against Charles, Charleston Southern. That's the, really the only thing set right now. The rest of it, the conference, is to be determined. Uh, Meador, do you have any other different information than that? Well, I can, can tell you none of it's confirmed that, as far as being official and being put out. But um, you can say we've got the, our, our conference all, all you know, you know, scheduled ready to go, but man, this thing's going to be. I don't know if this thing's going to be fixed by the time we get to football season. I could be wrong, but just eyeballing it down the road, um, we're going to everything we're going to do and put in place is going to be as if we're going to have fans in the stands. We're going to be playing these games, and it's going to be a more of an optimistic outlook. And and you know, if half capacity is what we get, then that's what we get, and we'll roll with it. I was going to say, guys, the good news is I think the games will be played. They were played last year under right. tougher circumstances. I think the only question mark, not if the games are played, I think the question mark will be how many fans. Will be allowed yeah, that's the big one. That but you point. have to remember, there's going to be. You know, remember Cincinnati? We thought we were going to play that game for a couple hours because at the last second you get a little right. outbreak or a, yeah. uh, whatever, yeah. and then. But by you don't then, know, don't but, you feel you know, most of the players and coaches would be have the vaccine? Well, well yeah. but 
but, but then you, you got these that. variants, the strains right. and all this That's stuff. Right. We don't, you know what? I, I thought when this happened back in what March, in the mid March, do you remember the two weeks? Let's let's flatten the curve. Yeah. Right. Do you remember yeah. right. during that? Yeah. Right. Everybody stay in. Blah blah blah. All yeah. this. In in a couple of weeks, this will be gone. Yeah. What is this? 10, 10 months now? Yeah. Well, get, we, we had our highest number yeah, of this. In March, and March will be a year. Yeah, yeah. Just and that's right around longer. the corner. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to believe you've only been in this no. ten months. It feels like ten years. I, love you. I haven't seen you in person in like a year. I think it yeah. feels like. So I, you know, I don't obviously know what's going on over at East Carolina, but I would imagine. Uh, I don't know what's as, going on as, over at East Carolina. But I would imagine, as, as any company would, you you look at what's happened and mm-hmm. you say, okay, we're going to prepare for the best. That's right. And, you know, and and expect the worst. That's 100 percent right. Basically, so you prepare as you're going to play a normal season, yep. football season. Okay, we're going to prepare like this thing is gone and we can go back to normal. But at least now you kind of got a footprint, and you know you've you've got something to go by as to what to do if you can't do that. Yeah, and you've already been through it. Yeah, Bailey and I talked about it yesterday on his show, and you know, it's every week you're, you're there's some challenge, and by having gone through all that, it's a little bit easier, and you're mentally anyway, you're more prepared to be able right. to handle some of the right. things that we're having to look at, and and you know, I feel like I think everybody's going to calm down a little bit, and we'll think, all right. Let's do what works. We're going to prepare. I'm telling you, we're preparing for fans to come. We're going to start up a big initiative next month and um, to you know get the fans back in the stands. And, and you know, I'm excited about it I, I, because I mean, my gosh, look what we just went through. Yeah, I, you know. we talked to Ron Robinson in one of our other shows earlier this week, and he said the same thing. Yeah. He said they're going to plan for all systems go yep. for, especially for the fall. Unfortunately, you know, baseball's up next, and the good news is baseball didn't have a season last year. At least they're going to play a season this year. The unfortunate news is for the fans, they're going to have to watch from a distance. Yeah. yeah, that's unfortunate. And I had a guy ask me last night because he got called about a season ticket for baseball. And so his question to the people that called him was, like, hey, are, are we even having season tickets? You know, you're trying to sell me a season ticket. but yeah. Well, that's the new revenue go. generator. Just yeah. pay for your season tickets until come. I think it was yeah. a scam. It's I think somebody <laughs> made it up. Hey, it's yeah, the but, old virtual bowl. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, how, many, I mean, but how many season tickets seats are empty anyway? People buy a bunch of them and they don't come. I mean, I know yeah. that front row where we always used to shoot. Nobody ever came. Yeah, they were yeah. calling them. But you still have the opportunity. You have the option to. You're right. Last minute, if you want to go to a game, <laughs> you're right. you park you're right. your butt same, right same there. Same guy asked him about a car warranty, too. So I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> Good I'm sure exactly what was happening. Line. <laughs> was this Google listing getting ready to expire? Yeah, that was close too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you gotta check your friends, buddy. Yeah. And they also won a whole bunch of money through some lottery. <laughs> Over, yeah, I mean, that's another story. <laughs> oh yeah, remind me to tell the lotto story yeah. later. Yeah, He's later. got a great one. Bailey does. He killed that guy. The one that he was. What is it like? Uh, you give. Hey, all you have to do is write me a check for a thousand. Oh, yeah. and you're gonna get ten million. Yeah. Oh, you had yeah. a guy. I had a guy call me. Oh, yeah. oh, he play yeah. plays with him. I just hang up on him. Oh, he likes you had some what mood I'm in. Yeah, exactly. If I'm yeah. bored, I'm Well, if I'm in the off. office, it's on speakerphone, and we're, it's on. I'll yeah. try to sell life insurance. <laughs> I used to do a bit where we'd, uh, we'd we'd call it telemarketers gone wrong. Yeah. And we'd be, when they call in the station, I'd record get, it. I'd record it, and I'd try <laughs> and keep them yeah, on as that. long as yeah. possible. I do remember that, yeah. And so the longer I could keep them hanging on, yeah. the more successful I was. <laughs> yeah. So until they hung up on me, yeah. I yeah. reversed it. <laughs> no, I won. Those were the six, days. $6.2 million, and all I had to do was pay a 550 Fifty dollar finders fee oh, wow. or, or some kind what of thing. deal, and, yeah. I, and I said, I said, you know, this is a scam. No, 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 no. So this is no scam. This is no scam. <laughs> I'm like, really? I said, I tell you what, go ahead and take that five hundred and fifty five dollars out of that six point yeah, one million. Yeah. I tell you what, double it. That's your tip and then send me the rest up. No, no, no. So you got, you have to go by the certain protocols. I was like, yeah. well, trust, trust the process, Bailey. Yeah. Trust the trust process. the process. Yes. Yes. This is why people have trust issues with yeah. the process. No, 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 no. <laughs> he still he stuck to his script. You know what what's crazy is is they do such volume and that's all they do, is you figure if they call a thousand people, oh, and if they only get one, one person, person it's, one it's out of hundred, and you got you got to figure the way as fast as they're talking. going, yeah, if they yeah. if they got one in a two hour span, that's five hundred fifty bucks in two hours. That's more than I make. So yeah. I, I, I saw a story the other day. Yeah, uh, you're right. That's a pretty good ROI. Yeah, yeah, right. I saw a story the other day that uh, California had given out somewhere in the in the range of ten billion dollars in unemployment yeah. benefits to scammers mm-hmm. and to some um, people use like prisoners' names, and right? Stuff. Right. Scott Peterson. They were. They 
they were prisoners yeah. and scammers and uh, even um, organized crime organizations. Yeah. Had had swindled basically people out of. A, you take some a notes on this billion place? dollars, <laughs> just for reference. Can you imagine that? <laughs> yeah, I can. Yeah. I mean, Did you get time? read or the number to call. Yeah, yeah. You, got you that know what? Too? I still haven't gotten my <laughs> stimulus check either. too, so I me worry either. about like where that is. Yeah, me either. All right, let's get back on track. Uh, East <laughs> either one. <laughs> I never got either one. All okay. right, so first one. Let's just look at September. Because you make so much money, you don't get me. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, East Carolina is over a hundred thousand. You know, you've, you've, <laughs> I, I missed that by less than half. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, so App State, South Carolina, Marshall, Charleston Southern. What do you think EC's record will be, guys, at the end of September? You said no predictions. No, I said too early predictions. These are too early, but I didn't say. Well, that. I got you. So it's I too, thought you said it's too, too early, early to, to predict. predict. It's right, too early but we're to still going to do it. Okay, so I'm just curious. What do you think ECU's football record will be at the end of September? Okay, what? what so there's only game? four games you can really know good right now: App right, State, App State, South Carolina, Marshall, and Charleston Southern. I say they go three and one. Wow. Well, you know, you got to look at Marshall's. They're, they're flipping that thing. So, yeah. And App State's tough. App, yeah, but App State's not the old App State. I mean, they're good. I think three and one is fair. I, I mean, think I, I think you got a chance. I mean, you got a chance to go four and zero, oh, just like you do. Say, I don't think you go any worse than than one and three. I think App State may be one of the toughest games. Um, I think. Could yeah, be. I think two and two is probably fair. South Carolina coming with a new coach. I mean, yeah, two yeah, new coaches in there. You're talking about it. You're talking about SEC talent. It's always yeah. tough, and it, and, it, and I'm not I'm not sliding East Carolina in that that regard anyway, but. SEC talent, they're just big. I mean, even you, when you're playing Kentucky and Vanderbilt and Arkansas, you know those those teams that are usually down at the bottom of the SEC, they're still really, really good teams. I'm gonna say two and two, Bailey. What do you say? Well, you can make a case for for just about every oh and yeah. four to four and zero. Oh. I mean, mm-hmm. you can look at this thing. It just depends on how everything plays out. You got to like East Carolina's experience coming back, and uh, if they get better defensively, which we think they will, you know, even better than that, they made so many improvements last year. So, you know, two and two to three and one, you know. I think it's uh, if Holt I continues think, to develop and get bigger, yeah. stronger, faster. I mean, well, I'm just got, tired of being rooster neck, so I'm going three and one. <laughs> <laughs> if we're throwing out predictions in January, why not just say four and zero? Right? Yeah, call it. I think you're right. Well, if right. we're throwing, throwing out, if we're throwing out five and zero, five and zero looks good. Five and zero in the first four. If yeah, I agree. If we're throwing out predictions, Troy's going twelve and zero, or you know, the Bears going two. to the Super Bowl. I said two and two. <laughs> I think I'm trying to be realistic. They don't I hand that trophy out in January. This, you're well, not realistic. Really <laughs> I, if this, you were realistic, then you know East as Carolina the, wouldn't have four Heisman trophies sitting over there. In as the, case. the season gets closer, I get more and more excited. But right sure. now, in January, <laughs> sure. I'm, I'm looking at two and two. I was three and one. Yeah, I think three and one. All right, what did you I say? Think three and one would be great. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that'd be awesome. Well, I mean, obviously, we all, right, all want four and zero. I'm one. And you're asking what you really think it'll two be. Two. Like, if you had to bet money on it, what would you bet? I'm not betting in January. Bro. Now, if I had to bet money on it, I think I'd bet two and two because that's the safe okay. bet. My, the optimistic East Carolina in me, pirate in me says four and zero, oh, but three and one would be great. Yeah, two and two, I'll take it. I mean, I'm, it, that, all right, here's a better exact, question. Now, one and three is right. disappointing. Here's a yes, more legit yes, question. Yes. Once again, this is the Press Box Podcast. Troy D, Brian Bailey, Billy Weaver, Clip Brock, Brian Meador. Uh, what? Will ECU be bowl eligible this year? I think so. I do too. I think we are. I, th- I think so. If you look back, they they, they, they should have been. They should have been, been last year. Right. They I mean, were beat Tulsa. Close. That was a win. You that know? was a win. Right. Yeah. I mean, and then you add it. You put Norfolk State back in there. And all of a yeah. sudden, you're like, wait yeah. a minute. These guys are right there for a bowl game. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So bowl or bust this year for ECU. Hundred percent. I think so too. Hawaii bowl or bust. Nah. Are you going to be able to go to this one this time? Hawaii? Yeah. Oh, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not missing it this time. That was the greatest yeah. trip, man. That yeah, was incredible. Awesome. We'll, from we'll, all go, from... we'll, we'll all go together if we do this. We all went yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. We did. I'm going We're this time. Did we tell you about it? Yeah. Lots of great stuff happened. We all went snorkeling on the North Shore. Sure did. Well, two of us did. He rolled around on a rock and got busted. Brian almost bled out on the coral. Then he got attacked by a shark or something. I feel like I was there. Why did we not get pictures of that? Whose idea should have gotten Whose idea was it to take a picture? She was concerned because you should have been. My God, we just shark attacked him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whose idea was it to go underwater? <laughs> I'm a little buoyant, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> 
<laughs> he couldn't get down. I was like, and then all of a sudden the wave started hitting me. I said, I got to get out of here. And I get up to the dam, and that coral was, man, that was sharp. Oh, yeah. That was a sharp, <laughs> the sharp coral. Oh, my God. So you're stepping on the tiny head. little cuts all over. Oh, oh and, but, but the, the water, blow, all the blood going down his leg, it looked like he had gotten attacked by a shark. Yeah. <laughs> and he thank was walking you. out. Thank God, thank God there was a woman there to help me. <laughs> Meadow was in the water with me. <laughs> I was actually snorkeling. <laughs> well, I, I would say something else, but I'm not. <laughs> what I wouldn't love to see a video of this. Ah, oh, no. God, At least a picture. What a oh, bloody man. mess that was. I got scars. <laughs> Some of the things you regret looking back. Now, uh, just uh, uh, yeah. Why we didn't take pictures? Well, in this day and age, it would have been like this. Oh yeah, because yeah, our phones would have been waterproof anyway. But well, that, that was yeah. Man, everybody on the around. beach would have been. Look at this guy bleeding. It'd have been on YouTube. You'd have seen it on YouTube. Well, somewhere. where we had to snorkel, Troy, you, you had to go over this rock. And then uh -huh. you down in the area, well, Bailey had to go back over the rock to get out and then hear the waves start. Wham! And they're hitting him. He's rolling around <laughs> on this coral rock. He can't get up. I wanted to oh, kill Weaver. Awful. I wanted to kill me, <laughs> Slim was there. Slim? <laughs> Wanted to kill Slim? <laughs> oh, man. What a great, great moment in Hawaii history. Oh, that was fun. That was a good time, though. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was. Good time. They have, a, uh, they have a museum up now about that in Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> it gets more visitors than Pearl Harbor. Yeah. It was fun. Pearl Harbor was fun. It was great, yeah. So was, so was the, I remember the pineapple place, too. The Dole Pineapple. Oh, pineapple. yeah. That was yeah. up in there. Yeah. No, the um, of course, uh, Diamond Head was fantastic. Yeah, we were walking up there; it was terrific. The well, that was just nice. Dormant looking volcano, out, looking out the, the view. hotel. Oh, it was fantastic. And seeing Diamond Head, that was awesome. But Weaver went to SpongeBob's place when he started talking about the pineapple. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> pineapple under the sea. You have, to, uh, you have to have children who know what that is. Yeah. Sorry. All right, six, six, and six at least for the Pirates. Then I think so. Year. I think that's go that's balling. the to me. I would be happy. With yeah. Anything above that. Although this was such a weird year, if you have games postponed or canceled next year, will they lower the threshold for bowl games? That's all part of the and how many situation. Bowl games? Yeah. You can't yeah, start right. off the show saying that's not going to happen. We'll be back to normal and then turn around through that scenario. No, out. I hope we'll be back to normal. Yeah, I do. I, I don't know. Yeah, but you're we? right. That's you get, a question mark. You might have a conference that decides they don't want to do it, and all of a sudden you've got more openings, and you know. I mean, think about if we had gotten a couple more wins this past year. What if Norfolk State plays? What if we beat – well, we did beat yeah. Tulsa. Yeah. I, I think these schools – I think yeah. they need money. I think they need to play. They need to get fans in the stands. I think you'll see these games, and you'll see capacities increase greatly. I totally agree. So, uh, And even at 50%, it would be a huge plus for ECU. And there'd be, you know, a lot of season ticket holders would be in there, and you would hope you get some – Well, every season well. ticket holder would be in exactly. there. Exactly. Well, we, yeah. we don't sell over 25,000 season tickets. If you go – yeah, but they're not, some might not come, you know. I mean, if, if they're not feeling safe, oh, that's they're not going to come. Right, right. That's, that was my but point. But everybody would be able to They would be el 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 eligible to, yeah. Well, yeah. speaking of capacity, to. only 22,000 people will be in the stands at uh, Raymond James for the Super Bowl. How yeah. about that? And, and 7,500 7, are, are going to be health care workers and providers that are going to be there for free on the, on the NFL's dime. That's yeah. a great transition to this past weekend's football. Yeah. Yeah, what would y'all think? Uh, Tom Brady. What a story! Awesome. If Incredible. he wins the if Super anybody, Bowl, if anybody, should he says, go out on like retire as a Super he Bowl? Wants, he should, he but he won't. He's he wants Brett another. Farm. He looks too good, though. Like he's it in was his fantastic. Prime. He looks like he's twenty five. That first half was as good as I've seen him play. That was incredible. So I he's said forty three going on twenty three. Yeah. I said this to Dave Jordan last night. I said you're going to have to pry the deflated football out of his hands mm -hmm. for him to retire. Boom! There you go. Yeah. That, I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> Inflated, deflated. He can win with a lock. <laughs> Look, that guy's that good. You know, uh, how about how about if you're Brett Favre though, and you're thinking, you know, Brady gets all the pieces around him, and then my organization goes and drafts my backup in the first round instead of getting me your more talent. You Let's talk about a replacement. Uh, or your replacement. Yeah, Let's talk about Aaron yeah. Rodgers too. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So you're talking about you said what I said <laughs> Brett Favre oh did I like, oh no 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 because I no, just no, no. mentioned he's, Brett Favre yeah yeah, right. he's he's going going back up. yeah 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 but what he's saying is accurate he's yeah. still mad about that <laughs> <laughs> no because I had Brett Favre yeah. on the mind talking about Brady I know, I know. yeah uh, Favre Rogers Brady they're all the same you know Hall of Fame how bad is it <clears throat> Billy as Washington fans that like Mike Mullis for example Packers fan has had Favre and Rogers the last. Thirty years, basically. So in thirty quarterback in thirty years, what have what the Redskins? Well, not the Washington I think football we've had team. Like twenty twenty some starting quarterbacks, mm -hmm. starting quarterbacks within thirty They've years. I'm two. sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. ridiculous. Oh yeah, ridiculous. and still don't really know who we're gonna have. No. Dwayne Haskins now a Pittsburgh Steeler. That's crazy. We were talking yesterday, clip about the dumbest. I think one of the dumbest coaching calls by the Packers not to go like their own close 
on the goal line not to try and go for it because they kick a field kick goal. Field goal down and they eight. still got to score a touchdown yeah. to win the game. To win the game. They're right there. And if Aaron Rodgers on the play before would have shown a little more effort and run towards <coughs> the corner, he might have damn scored himself. Or if he but didn't score, he'd have gotten, gotten closer. Two or three. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and yeah. even if they didn't score on that play, they, they've, they've got, got him backed up. They've got him backed up at the yep. goal line. Yeah. Like, what I a didn't, dumb play. That was horrible. That was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. I, yeah, he's it getting is, a lot of heat for that. He should. He should. I get it. Like I told Bailey yesterday, my 12 year old calls a better Xbox game than this. He do a Time. The dumbest thing you've seen when McCarthy coached your team the entire season. Um, <laughs> all, right, all right, that's fair. It's the dumbest thing I've seen this no, year. What happened? I was stealing <laughs> Bailey's line. <laughs> that is, that what happened true. was yeah, you did. What happened was yeah. his line was great. Yeah. McCarthy left his book of analytics laying there. Laying there and picked and it and up. He picked it up and looked <laughs> at. Went to what? page seven. Said, "Oh, oh field goal makes sense field here. Goal you got to go ahead. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah, you could look at what, Rogers' body language when he went over and sat down with mm. his big coat he knew on. It was gone. I, I told Bailey. I said, "Man, he 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 knew." You're talking about Tom Brady over there. All your analytics in the world don't don't calculate that the best quarterback who's ever played is standing over there waiting for you yeah, to give yeah. him a chance to get one first down. Yeah. And they and are you kidding me? Stupid man. I think Aaron he was taking his cleats off. Man, he oh, we just lost. Yep. I mean, give the man a chance. And if he doesn't, then okay, you've got three timeouts, two minutes and six seconds, or whatever left, and you got him backed up inside the ten. I mean, yeah. that just makes sense to me. Yeah, if they had that green playbook from the water boy, they'd be sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is uh, the Press Box Pirate Radio Podcast Special Edition. I'm Troy D., Brian Bailey, Billy Weaver, Brian Meador, Clip Rock here with you as we continue on. Uh, might be tuned in on one of our many platforms that we put the podcast on. Thanks for listening wherever you happen to be. We mentioned ECU baseball getting ready to get underway. We had uh, Media Day the other day with Coach... Godwin and the guys. Uh, weird me. It's still kind of getting accustomed to these Zoom media days. I thought the worst part of it was we didn't get a chance to talk to any of the players because of this. Yeah. You know, I kind of yeah. missed that. Especially the baseball players because we know yeah. most of them. I mean, yeah. you know, when you look at that and how much experience they've got coming back, and, and hopefully we'll get a chance later on. I'm sure they'll make a couple of players, you know, available via Zoom. But, but yeah, that's a, that's a big deal with this this baseball team. And, and it's just a shame. You, you know, as, as good as, as Pirate fans are for football and for basketball for the most part, I mean, baseball fans are just – there's a certain core of them that are really going to hurt this, this spring. They hurt last spring when they lost baseball, and then they're going to hurt this spring because they can't be there and, and here's a big question guys is this the year the glass ceiling's been on this program forever don't they've say never it. been don't on say it, man. Don't, don't say it, it. you know is, what even godwin's getting away nope, from saying don't say it. It. i'm just saying is this the year they break through the glass ceiling and make it make it where to the place to what place the when place. they play the championship <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> yeah, just go out well, there. You know, you so know, they go to Omaha this year, <laughs> and, and, and people talk about that. But you know, the fact that he's got a program that it's it's almost you know you don't even have to talk about it because that obviously is the goal. And it's on the right, table, right, right. but, but it's on saying, the table every and, year. You know what? Not, th- that's not the goal. The goal is to win it, win it all. But you got to get there first. Right. right? Yeah, but right. I mean, obviously, you have goals. You set goals. Okay, we want to have a great regular season. We want to win a conference championship. We want to go to a regional, then a super regional, then to Omaha, then the national championship. Wouldn't it be a terrible yeah. irony if ECU, this is the year ECU makes it and then no fans are allowed to go? No, nah, man. That you would know? suck. That could be so I negative. Did. You got to start thinking. No, it would be positive that we're there. It would I just did, be sad for the fans. That, that, mm-hmm. that it, they to me, that, yeah, and how is Omaha going to look? Look as good as as good as good we've done. You know, Look back. You know, you win all the games you win, you win your championship, you, you do all the things you can do, and, and you still you're watching that selection show. You don't get a number one seed. You're like, what else can I? What else do I have to do? You have to ultimately you have to go on the road to beat a Louisville in a best of three. It, it was disappointing to have to go do that because yeah. at the end of the day, you're East Carolina, and you're not going to get the considerations that some of these other places get, and it sucks. I mean, we were all t- all looking around. Where were we? At? Was it at Sup Dogs we yeah. down there? Uh-huh. And um, we're like, like, what, do we, what else do we have to do? You That's know? what Cliff said. Yeah, what else thing. do you have to do to get a to get a one seed host? Well, I the mean, thing is, you got to get there once. Yeah. And that's the thing is that East Carolina hasn't been able to get to Omaha and getting there and with their previous track record of all the championships and the the regionals and and such the history of baseball at ECU, they just need to get over that hump the first sure. time. And, and then those number 1 seeds. But play, you know, not to look back at that, you look at playing that series here. What if Louisville had to come here? You know, just oh, flip, yeah. flip, flip. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a, a totally different. That, I mean, yeah. everything down there was just weird, man. From the turf, to, it just it was yeah, weird. It, it was. was just a weird environment, and and you take your guys out of that, and you go on the road, and you're having to deal with you know. Anyway, not to not to keep looking in the rearview mirror, but I mean, those are the things that, that East Carolina has to always overcome. And and th- do they have a chance? Damn right they do. Cliff Goblin's our coach, you know, and he's always going to have them on the table, where, you know, with a chance. So the tough part was, I thought 
they had a really good chance last year. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And it was stolen away from them. Yeah. So right. we'll never know, but it could have been their year. Yeah. Well, I, I did like what he had said about, you know, the one positive thing coming out of COVID this year is the guys are closer because they've been they've been in sort of that bubble and the guys have really been, you know, gotten together and become more of a, a team in that aspect to where they've got each other's back and all that stuff. And you need that on a base. Well, not just baseball, any team. You yeah. got you got to have cohesiveness on that team. So it'll be interesting to see how these guys gel this this year because there's a lot of new guys on that team, too. Yeah. ECU basketball still grinding it out it's been a weird season for them uh, yeah they're, they're back at it last game was uh, coached by coach rock it got drilled by memphis can, guys can ecu basketball ever be relevant in this conference i mean honestly and i love how many Joe times have we guys. asked that question but, i mean is it, <laughs> are we at the point back. where it just can't happen no, I don't think we're at that point. It just it just seems like that every time you know they took a big step because they've got so much experience back. But then you get that experience back, then you can't practice for two weeks, and you get COVID. I mean, they just it just seems like there's always a black cloud around the basketball program. But I, I think they can they got it's, it's like breaking through you know the black cloud. They got to get through it somehow. And you know I just I, I think they've got the pieces in place. They've got some good players on that team, and they continue to recruit. Their recruiting has really been upgraded over the last couple of years. But it's it's just it just seems like there's always something bad around the corner could this team ever be good enough to finish in the top third of the conference and if so when i think so. when i say this team i mean a team at east carolina basketball yeah. and how long yeah. would that take well like, you can't say no you know I and mean, how long will it take i you know Dooley would hope that it would have been this year i'm thinking next year we will be even better you know it's hard because you don't know um one what we're going to be how we're going to be playing and two are these kids you're getting are they going to develop i mean i you know i don't everybody at this table i thought you know by now coleman was going to be you know uh, you know right up there with gardner as far as what, what his expectations were and he just hasn't developed and he's been you know his injuries and everything other things have come along but when i first saw charles coleman i was like okay this is what we've been missing this you know this guy this he's hurt this bill but he's hurt you know and he's not well he wasn't a covid guy this past week and he was hurt yeah but um you know you thought though that's the piece that Jaden needed now Jaden can do his thing and you got coleman he's got the inside figured out and and it didn't happen that way and you know so we you get optimistic about the guy the guys that come in but ultimately they have to perform on the floor and we just haven't seen it yeah and you can't ever say never i mean if, if that's the case get rid of the basketball program and bring the men's swimming team back I mean, well, they already did that, didn't they? No, the oh, women. Oh, sorry, I'm getting confused. The men. I'm talking. I about get the men. confused on which teams got eliminating, <laughs> which teams get back. I, I can't but keep my, up with these musical chairs and these non-revenue sports. But my point yeah. is, if you're going to give up, just get rid of the program. But I, I, you know, that's not where you're at. Well, no, I would turn it into an indoor football facility first week. Actually, that's what I would do. <laughs> you got the whole thing. In yeah, that'd be perfect. Right, right, football football program. It's already attached to, Minji, to Mercy. So he's Center? gone on the record as saying he wants to gut Minji. No, I'm saying if they had to eliminate basketball, I'm in favor of promoting the football program. By the way, we're not talking about eliminating the program. Yeah, this is a joke. Just, Calm yeah. down, people. Bailey. I didn't say anything. <laughs> he stayed out of Bailey. Why did you even Bailey think that's there. a great idea? Coach Dooley? <laughs> 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 that was Troy driving. <laughs> Just kidding, Coach. Just kidding. Hope well, we have to it. have basketball to maintain the conference in the or standing in the conference, anyways. So. Right now, yeah, for, for now, yeah, the rules right. keep changing. They do. Yeah. Just like the COVID rules do. Rodeo. That's right. <laughs> they change every it's, week. <laughs> how, how much have you been tested lately? None. Right. How do we? I've stayed away. I've stayed away from. Like, even when we shoot the show, I stay away from Dooley. Not not because I want. I think I'm gonna get it from him. Which I do kind of think I'm going to get it because he did good. <laughs> anyway, um, I thought I had no, it. I, 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 this is really I know, bad because I, I, I make Bailey put his microphone on. I don't go near it. I, I stay away from him because I don't. I don't want to be a part of that whole. You know, if they, it, you know, that whole contact tracing thing is such. Yeah. It's such a gray area with That's everybody. That's why you're getting killed. They can't. Yeah, because yeah, no, I don't have it. But you're gonna send me home for two weeks. Come on, man, I got a job to do. You know, and so right, and then right. well, who and then I've been around. Want they've been contact two weeks. Some of them, oh, some the freeloaders want that. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't want a vacation. I want. I want to work. I like working. I like what i do and so when we shoot the show on whatever day it is we shoot it it's uh i say as you cut put his mic on man i'll stand back here i'm the carrier yeah, man. he got sent home and tested <laughs> when dooley got popped he got sent home yeah you were with coach one shot nah, i wasn't that close <laughs> you kind of were that yeah, was but it worked out but it worked out great. stayed yeah, home for a couple you. days worked from home and, and you've yeah. been great about it. i mean i know I, I blew sunshine up your skirt Did you get, you're old enough to get uh you're doing great group a or whatever did you get your shot yet? Oh, wow, really? Oh, that's right. You're yes. a senior citizen. <laughs> I'm not a senior citizen. <laughs> Bailey, technically what? you are considered a senior citizen. I'm not in this group yet, though. What year, how old do you have to be? 65. Oh, right my now. bad. I thought you were, okay, you're right. I'm 58. Okay. Didn't, it, didn't it start anyone over <laughs> 70 you as a 65-year-old? <laughs> 
<laughs> He's such a stud. How, how old are you? 58. 58. 58. So you're in the you're next group. You're getting there. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting there. So we're we, not far we're behind. Y'all are yeah. getting there. <laughs> I, I, I went on the website to see what category. There was a category for. Uh, Knuckleheads. Yeah, you're in that category. <laughs> Frontline reporters. I was like, oh, that would kind of be. Have us. you been tested so, yet? Frontline front front reporters. What do you say? Have I been tested? Yeah. For what? There's a lot of different tests out there. Well, I know the positive <laughs> test we've heard we about. We know some you should be tested for. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. he's talking. Yeah. My goodness. What? What? That's a joke you can never... Uh-uh. That, that joke always goes this way, not that way. No, yeah. sir. Hey, I'm in a different category now. Yeah. Can't that's, run from your past. That's the lingers, pal. Yeah. Uh, I'm in a different category. I'm in a different place. Wow. Yeah. Well, like Eddie Murphy said, you keep it like, it's like luggage. You keep it for life. <laughs> His mind's in a different place. His body isn't. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bailey, come on, we're, guy. We're happy for so you. So, no, you have, have I feel you, sorry for you. But seriously, <laughs> have, you <laughs> that? have you been tested you at all? For, for, uh, for coronavirus? No, I have not. None at all? In the, I have never I've been tested three, three times. Three times. Yes. Was that the TV station? And then I had the, the antibody test, too. Which shocked me that I didn't have it. Well, shocked me no, too, buddy. No, we were shocked shocked me dinner. <laughs> we'll never forget yeah. COVID zero. Billy Weaver won. <laughs> but like, you, didn't, you didn't have it to beat it. So how do you get a point for that? I I, don't, I didn't. I don't do the point system. It was Tyler, he did it. <laughs> I don't know. He was tested <laughs> for a story. There was. I don't some blame him. There were dark <laughs> times back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cut the kids some slack. And I was down for two weeks though. You know what? You were sick. You were, you were, I talked to you yeah, every day. You were on your desk. You were either. On your deathbed, or you were faking it better than anybody knew to no. academy. No, you had the flu. You had a nasty I, yeah, flu. I did. I had, but you had all the symptoms because they did the antibody test. But that was months later. Yeah, that they did the antibody you still test. Still could have had it, man. You know, and you were hanging out with a big group of people down in Emerald. Then you, I mean, you know, you that, could, yeah, you yeah. could easily caught it then. It was circulating. I was absolutely my my doctor. You lost, even, you lost the bet, dude. Pay the steak. I already did. Yeah, I did. Him. <laughs> what kind of steak did you get? Oh, the biggest one they had. <laughs> <laughs> did. Jack did up. he really? He did. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, I was supposed to at least get the baked potato out of that. Hell, it was such a I'll big steak. Potato. He put him out of business. <laughs> exactly. Oh, was it ribeyes? Yeah. It was. A, it was. It wasn't a steak. It was a cow. <laughs> And I should clarify, it was only the Greenville ribeyes he put out right, of business. Right, the other right, ribeyes are yeah. going fine because Bailey hadn't put them out well, of business. Uh, no, no, no more bets. We ate there like no a week bets. later. They shut down. I'm like... <laughs> it was good, though, wasn't it? Yeah, we had a good lunch deal. <laughs> uh, I was, dinner. It was dinner. dinner. Yeah, yeah, it was good. good. Yeah. Um, but so, we've yeah, you cost me a steak dinner because I went all in on we've is got it. I believe him. He would never <laughs> lie to me. I put my faith in Weaver. In Weaver, we trust. Trust the process. Hey, my burned. my doctor even said that in her clinical opinion that I had it. She exactly. thought I, she had thought I got that a, count. a false negative. Thank you. See? Opinion. Oh, Whereas yeah, no, the facts yeah, do no, not no, back no. that opinion I, I up. Agree, I agree. I tell him about That's your, like lo- your lottery There's been a lot of opinion and no fact. <laughs> oh, you're and following yes. the science here yes. in the last 10 months. Agreed. <laughs> yeah, tell Point. Him about your lottery problem. Oh, so did you see the lotto was one billion dollars yeah. last mm-hmm. Saturday? So I go to uh, the nine hundred seventy million. Yeah, it was right at. I don't billion. play until it gets like above five hundred million. Because yeah, I'm like, if I'm because, gonna, because who cares about the? Yeah, yeah, come like, on, I don't, I just, I'm not a regular <laughs> lotto player, but four hundred million. It's not even dollars. worth it. It's not worth my time. So you know, fill out the card. It costs three million dollars just to run my helicopter <laughs> for a month. So four hundred million dollars. Oh, it's just a drop in the bucket. <laughs> drop in the I wait until it gets you, to five hundred million. You wait till you hit the story, though. <laughs> that <laughs> way, I can pay off my yacht and whatever vacation I want to take. Go ahead. So well, go ahead, Drew. So anyway, <laughs> so it's, it's just a, I just don't pay attention to it until it's like five hundred million or more, and then I'm like, all right, I'll throw some money towards this thing. And because you figure your chances you are better. Well, you can't win if you don't play, right? It's true. You've you got can't a win zero if you don't play the right chance. game. Yeah. So it's oh. you've got Powerball ball and you've got Mega Millions. Mm-hmm. They're both now two dollars a ticket. So I'll usually like throw twenty in at a time, get ten tickets. I'll do One the quick. Mm-hmm. I'll do the quick pick. Is what I do. Just let the computer pick yep. it because I think you know people like Bailey. It's been twenty minutes filling out their sheet. Yeah. Then they've yeah, lost yeah, their yeah. money and wasted hey, twenty minutes. Right, right, right. right. I, I'm but not people like it. Bailey play the right game. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm eating dinner with Bailey the night of the week. It was last. No, week. he was whining. And well, eating dinner with Bailey. Well, because I, I went to look at my tickets because I was going to tell, I was going to cut Bailey a, a deal. I was going to say, hey, I got 20 bucks worth. Yeah. Uh, it's a billion dollars. Give me 10. We'll do 50 50. 
And if we win, we'll each, I'll win five hundred million. You win five hundred. Who million. gets to keep the what? tickets? Exactly. Well, I, no, I was going to make a copy of that hand was deal. Sign, with. No, 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 no. Yeah, I was going yeah, to put in rotting <laughs> on a ticket. I was going to Xerox it. He was going to have a copy. I was going to have a copy. We just was, both signed the back of the ticket. And yeah, I mean, it was. I'm fine. not going to. If we do a deal like that, I'm not going to hose him like that. No. You know, you say that until that nine hundred thousand. No, I think it'll be a great hey, story. Hey, that barely million. with five hundred million until you guys will screw off and be awesome. But that's half to the fact. Go ahead and tell them what happened before you even thought of this idea. Yeah, well, they the guy. So I told the guy, Sheets, give me you know twenty quick picks or ten quick picks for the the what big one. You called it the big one. The big one, the Powerball. So he, I, or, you didn't know. no, 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 it was Mega Millions. Millions. You messed it up again. It was Mega Millions. He didn't say Powerball. He You're did. right. But he gave me the Powerball one, which was only at the time like twenty million. Yeah, <laughs> twenty million. I'm like, yeah, because so somebody had hit earlier. Yes. Right, that's right in Maryland. Right. So Maryland. I'm like, damn, this guy sold me the wrong ticket because I specifically said I want the five hundred million. I, at the time, it was nine hundred seventy million. You, you, you said I want the I want the nine hundred million. Yes, and he sold me the wrong one. So I told Bailey I should take it back to no, Sheets. So the whole it. time we're eating, he's like, oh, Bailey, I'm going to take it back. I think they'll exchange it. I'm just, sure, they ain't taking that ticket back. But then I'm like, well, may, maybe I should keep the Powerball because this is like a, this is how people win by accident. Yeah. Right. And then that work out for a story. <laughs> yeah, I checked the numbers yet. I got to go yeah, see that one number. <laughs> I was so mad I hadn't checked it. But I hit the Powerball twice on the, on the billion dollar one. So that does pay off. Yeah. I don't know how many other like two numbers bucks are. or something. Because or the Powerball was like twenty four, and I had twenty four down a couple times. Okay, oh, yeah, good for well, you. So you know you have plenty of money when you have <laughs> Powerball tickets sitting that you have not <laughs> even checked. Before. I don't know. I have some Powerball tickets <laughs> over in the corner. I have not. Oh, you I gotta take a buy. Peasants, check my tickets. Peasants. So, more to the story. The guys at Food Line were really good. They knew what the deal was. The more guys the story, at Sheets were wise. Wine. No, you sold it. It was wine tickets. night at Atavola, and he fit right in. That, that could have cost me. The wine and dine. Yeah. That could have cost me a, mil- a billion dollars. What if I had the right numbers for the wrong game? Fair. Fair. I mean, seriously. That's like, I don't know how I could have lived with myself. The funny part, though, he kept saying, I'm going to take it back. I think it'll give me my money back. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that works you, out. What would you have done if they, what was the Mega Millions? That was the 900, yeah. right? Yeah. If Ended the up mega, being a billion. mega Millions numbers come up and you look at your Powerball ticket. And I had the right exactly ticket this for the wrong game. See, I think you have uh, the argument because they play, they play the wrong game. The numbers going to be completely different in the Mega Millions. So you have a, you have an argument. I hey, would have sued. Whatever the percentage, you sheets, sued them for half of the 970 correct, for, million. For, correct. Whatever my yeah. take home, I would have sued Sheets because they, go back to the videotape because they have video of all this. Go back to where I bought well, it. That would have been You fun. don't know if I would have won or not. I want my money. Where I said, I'm give, with you. give me. 10 tickets I know 100 it. lawyers that would have took that yes I probably absolutely. would have won a case and if nothing I, yeah. else settled out of court if for not, 200 million absolutely well, yeah. before that you would have already made your text and calls about screw you <laughs> I'm a billionaire <laughs> I'll never talk to you again <laughs> <laughs> and you'd have to call back there would have been a lot of scorched earth <laughs> yeah, a, lot of, a lot of bridges burned and oh yeah <laughs> wait a minute part of that. I didn't win <laughs> that'd be part of my damages with the lawsuit <laughs> do you have any idea how many people I pissed off <laughs> yes. a lot of residuals See again, but now I gotta see, see it again. again. <laughs> no, no, that is awesome. Cliff was my top employee. That was your collateral damage suit. Yeah. There you go. I even torched the whole damn building. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so be careful. So here's the moral of the story: because there are two different lottos going, and they're both two. Like one used to be what? one dollar, one used to be two. Who didn't know this? Be very careful. A lot of people get. Obviously, the cashier doesn't know it. I still think you ordered. The, you just said the wrong one twice before you had to correct you that it was. You're blaming the victim. Yeah. <laughs> What you do. You're, you're playing the victim card. <laughs> you brought it on yourself, Troy. <laughs> so anyway, it was the high heels, man. He's like, well, how, you do, you do, he how do you do it? I said, <laughs> I said the high heels. I know. <laughs> He's, how do you do it? I said, I go pick a card out that says Mega Millions, and then I hit QP. Written right on. Old man spends 15 yeah, minutes he filling out Bella's birthday, <laughs> Melissa's birthday, <laughs> Ryan's birthday, <laughs> Kaylee's birthday. <laughs> if you go to the Lotto store and fill it out with a pen, pencil, and <laughs> then you're, you're Doctor Rick. You're, you're turning into your father. Make sure it's number two pencil, by the yeah. way. You know you can it's, keep that card. Yeah. Just bring it back every time and they'll scan it. Really? It's yeah. not as fun. Just ask. Like oh, you like to fill it out every time. Well, then I, and Bailey says he likes to pick the same numbers all the time. I said, well, how's that work I out I like to pick you? out one set, not the same Yeah, that's right, time. right. Yeah, right. he's never said, won on those numbers. Kim used to so do that. Maybe I said, have, you, have your numbers ever hit before? And and um, I, Random, just random. Let it happen, man, because yeah. every one that's ever hit before has been random. Maybe I'll get lucky with the random. Yeah. But man, it's not even come close. I'll buy some randoms, too. I'll buy that bunch and... 
See what happens. All right. If God wants oh, to Oh, you do it both ways. Yeah, hey, I do it both okay. ways. Okay. Could you imagine winning a billion dollars? I, I thought about it. You know how much how many problems you'd have? I see Bailey just said if God wants me to have it, then we're screwed, guys. We're never gonna get this thing. If it's up to God, we're out. I mean it would create a lot of issues. Well, I had, it, yeah, of course. But I had talked about this if it was the nine hundred. I think I think the payout, the lump sum was 700? over seven hundred yes. million. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you had seven hundred million dollars can't spend it all, man. What what I would have done is I would have taken right off the top a hundred million. Million dollars, one hundred million dollars, and a hundred people yep. that I like, same. or organizations, Dang, same. or whatever. Go, go more than a hundred. I, I want to get in that list. <laughs> <laughs> He said light. No, but you know what? <laughs> yeah. The funny thing is, is you guys were all on the list. Oh, like oh, I would have I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Yeah. I'm I would have dropped too. a million dollars to every one person in my family. Yeah. Yeah. One million dollars. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, my my two children would have gotten a bigger lump sum. And of course, when I croak after they get it all anyway, they're gonna yeah. get it all anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I thought about that. You know, my church would get a, a million. You know, some organizations, and 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 then I was going to say East well, Carolina. Nah, yeah, I know. Thank they you. were on the list. Thank you. ECU was going to get a million. Matt, Matt Maloney's on friends. the phone. Big guy's on the phone to you right now. <laughs> get know, that right? writing. <laughs> the Weaver writing. Center. <laughs> yeah. But look, I was going to say I was going to go ninety nine, and then that last one million of that one hundred million dollars, I was just going to go find somebody random that was just down on their luck and just. Had a bad situation and just boom, hundred million dollars. Weaver beat hundred million. Oh, uh, one million dollars of the hundred million. That'd be cool. Too. And That's then, then I was I like, go that. buy my Weaver Island and be gone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Weaver <laughs> Island. Like, don't what, <laughs> look. I gave away hundred million dollars. Yeah. What a wild place that could be. <laughs> is that is that early Weaver Island or late Weaver Island? Like, which Weaver are would you we taking get? the current one with you? Or are you gonna? Yeah, no. She, okay. yeah, you could buy a whole bunch of new ones. No, no. Me and her would be on Weaver Island. But then I, I would have a, a separate main, island. I would ha- no. I would have a main house, and then I would have pods for my mom and oh, that's cool. My, you know, and her daughter when she wants to come visit, and yeah. Uh, I'm saying, man, what, what, are gonna, out, what are you going to do with all that money? Half yeah. the fun of buying a lottery ticket is this fantasy nonsense. Correct. Yep. And, but yeah. it, but it's fun. I know. Yeah. I'm about to. Yeah. You sit there and think about yeah. it. Yeah. Unless you buy the one, wrong one, then you have to whine about it for about two hours. That's not a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> then it's a lawsuit and it gets all messy. So. But then, of course, when, you know it's never that cut and dry where you have okay, I'm going to give one here, blah blah blah, and all this. Then you get lawyers involved, and yeah. then you get accountants, and then you get family that you didn't know you had yeah. calling. No, that's not a problem for me. <laughs> nope, nope. Christmas card last year? No, nope. we're not family. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't called me in ten years? No, 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 no. All right, any final thoughts before we get out of here, guys? That you'd like to share? No, oh, I got a lot of final thoughts, but none of them are you know appropriate. Not even close. No. Mm-mm. Next yeah. time we meet, it'll be close for March Madness, right? Yeah, yeah we'll have to do one of these again. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, maybe late February. All right, I yeah. like it. We'll do. We'll do. I, I'm thinking maybe once a month we reconvene. Yeah, you know, we can probably stand each other once a month. Yeah, we'll let's do it again. Next will be good. We we'll keep bringing baseball. up until May. You know, we'll do it through May. We do. Keep bringing food from the place over. We can do it every week. Well, every yeah, day. I hear you. I hear you. We'll, we'll have food. Thanks to Jason Shepard again. From the place in Washington, we'll have a cater next time too. Yes, that? absolutely. Uh, Jason work. loves coming Sweet. and uh, doing caterings, and we appreciate him providing our. You know once that's again, how our you meal. get the media to anything, right? Yeah, food, food. Yeah, we're I, gonna we're gonna have lunch. I'll okay. never forget. We were at Ironwood one year, and Terry Holland walked up, and and Bailey and me were all sitting at this table. Brian North, he says, "Yep, you break out some food, and the cockroaches show up. <laughs> never fails." He sure said it. I was, I was like, sitting right really there. <laughs> really, like, hey, really? Really? <laughs> what did I do to you? Yeah. What did I do to you? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. That's what you did to him. I did. I did. Shut up. We got to find the video of that. Uh, no, this is a sideline that? interview. Man, I've tried you to find what? it. Oh, it was God. That'd be so you guys should have it. Which, we got to probably have that. probably do. find that video? It was too late. Yes. That would be so funny. It was halftime. Give me a year. It would have been pre. Was it the Quentin Cotton? Injury year? Nah, I don't, did I just sideline that day? I don't remember. I know I shot it because I shot him yelling because he was hurt. So well, that, first of all, because remember you would do do. Oh, double I know. Duty. I'd have my camera in my hand doing microphone. Yeah, I think um, it might have well, been. Well, the that vis- game. first of all, the okay. visual on it was hilarious because we were. I mean, uh, Meter was a little shorter than Terry Holland. So, oh God, you know, I was a step ladder and I'm still looking up. <laughs> and uh, and then just the reaction Terry had because we. All right, that. that should help you. It was the. Uh, it would have been. We started out 
three and zero or two and zero, whatever. And we, we in that game, that was the Quentin Cotton game. Um, yeah. Quentin so because yeah. we and then we lost the state yeah. the next week. Yeah. So that, that year was that, was that oh, oh so seven? What was that year? Was that the Hawaii Bowl year? Was that the Hawaii Bowl year? Was oh eight? Oh eight. Okay. Oh eight. Okay. So I'll go look for it. Oh eight. Tulane. Oh eight. You send it to me. Well, if I can find it, I think we. I'm I'm pretty sure. I remember what I said. I remember because wasn't Kevin Miller in the booth? Um, no, Kevin Miller was watching no, at home Kevin. because he texted me and that said, was, "Oh my God, that was the only thing I've ever too. seen." Yeah, you guys blew me I up. Could probably go back through. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I remember um, because we were down, or it was something like that, and we were heavy favorites in that game because we had just beat what was it, Vatek? We were four and zero, right? Two and zero, I think. Two and zero. West Virginia. West Virginia. Coming West Virginia. off the West Virginia. Okay, yeah, yeah. We just upset right. whoever. Virginia yeah. Tech yeah. the first week, right? Right. Yeah. Well, that was in Charlotte. Yeah, and so the block punt, the TJ Lee yep. block punt, and all that. Yeah. So we were favorites, these guys, and so I remember. I'm never forget. You know, what do you do at halftime when you're talking to a team that you're supposed to be ahead and I said, you know, Shamanad comes to mind. Shamanad. Shamanad. <laughs> you have experience with He looked at me like he wanted to murder me. <laughs> I got to go look for it today. Now. Oh, that's great. I yeah. Pull that up. Good question. It was a great question. Yeah. I never you know, it was relevant. Yeah, you know, I was, you know, I'm trying to... I think I was breaking my thumbs texting you at that point. <laughs> I was dying <laughs> laughing. You and Kevin Miller. I just, it was like, hilarious. No, I, just, I just remember being up in the booth yeah. and Jeff Charles were up there. <laughs> and when you, you know Jeff. Jeff's not... But Jeff did this for people that can't see. He just... <laughs> He turned. He never and told me in. that. He turned. Like, and wow. Did Neil just do that? <laughs> cool. Neat story. <laughs> it applies there, actually. Oh, God. All right, guys. Fun show. Good times. We'll reconvene next month and do it again. This has been a special edition of the Pirate Radio uh, Podcast. I'm Troy D., uh, Brian Bailey, Billy Weaver, and uh, Brian Meador, Clip Rock. Thanks to. Uh, <laughs> and thanks, thanks, on. Thanks, so you. <laughs> thanks to Glenn Griffin for his uh, video assistance, too. Appreciate it all everybody's help and uh talk to you next time guys